y'all it's hope here at crafty hope and welcome i'm gonna do a thrifty haul video here this could be on thrifty thursday or whenever so i will go ahead and tell you what i always say that thrifty finds for me tend to be anything that is a good deal so um yeah so whether that's off a free shelf like some of these things are going to be or a clearance aisle or a thrift store yard sale estate sale dollar store whatever um i like to just kind of share what i have found for a good deal and i'm starting with a couple things off the free shelf my local library has a free shelf of things that either withdraw from the library or things that have been donated that they can't sell or use or whatever so I just happened to run up there the other day to see what they had. I hadn't been in there in a while to, to check out the free shelf. And the first thing I saw was this, the Richard Scarry's Storybook Dictionary. So y'all, it's 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 a pretty good size. Um, it's from 1971 was the date I found in there. And of course it is a dictionary. And it's got, you know, it's got all the Richard Scarry families here. Um, and then it's it's a general dictionary starting with a and going through so i mean like look at that um these images are just so fun i don't know what i'll do with it i mean i might even be tempted to gift it or sell it or something like that i'm not sure yet i just thought it was pretty neat there were also quite a few old books there that ooh, I considered but I just don't need too many but this one for some reason the romance of a plain man by Ellen Glasgow I don't know there's something about the the embossing that's on here um, it is as you can see it damaged I did not notice that because when I flipped it I really just like I like the pages the texture of them and there were a couple of like phrases that immediately jumped out that I thought this would be so much fun to uh, cut out words and stuff so um just little things little phrases that jumped out when I opened it real quick um I don't know I had to grab that so those were the two things the other thing I ran over to the same day ran to Hobby Lobby and looked at the clearance aisles I almost picked up a clearance paintbrush but I have so many paintbrushes that I don't use that I left it for somebody else I did look at the fabrics and found these two remnants this is some duck cloth I just love like the black lines on here and I thought it could be super fun somehow I'm not sure it's 45 inches by 25 inches um it was only a dollar 32 the other thing is this bit of linen which is 58 inches by 25 inches which was a dollar 33 so it's basically um yeah so and it's just a nice white linen so i thought both of these were dyeable terrible just, just fun pieces so i did pick up other things i some things at the dollar store and stuff like that but nothing remarkable that um i feel like y'all would be interested in so if anything else that of interest i will tack that on because this is super short um and i will see you later I ran to the Dollar Tree today. I want, I'm working on making some cards that are kind of Valentine's theme, not explicitly, but I kind of was like, I need some more Valentine type things. So I went to Dollar Tree to see what they had. Um, for some reason, I really wanted to make some felt hearts, and y'all, I found felt art stickers. So this is a whole package of different sizes of, it looks like, red and pink and white felt heart stickers so I think those could be really fun I also got Valentine's related this bag this bag this package of fabric gift bags so it's two of them I have bought things like this from them before this fabric itself is um, I think it's 100% cotton or it was last time I checked and it's um, it tears down great but also I can cut these out with the words on them to put on these cards as well I think maybe um we'll see how it does um I'll probably experiment with that in just a minute <laughs> but I also saw these that are smaller size ones you get three of these and these have the xoxoxo on them so it's like this which I think could make some really cute like strips um torn down and again I then I'll also have the backs I believe will be yeah, unprinted so 
that was all I got from the Valentine section, but they've already put out St. Patrick's Day and Easter, as well as the spring stuff, like the planting stuff and all of that. So, I didn't find anything St. Patrick's Day related, but I did find Easter. <laughs> they had these mini foam mushrooms. Um, at first it was, yeah, I started to only get like these two, but I was like, I'm going to really be upset. There was only one package of purple and one package of blue, I think. No, maybe it was the purple and pink. There was only one package of. So, um, I got all three colors they had available. I would love, I've got some orange ones that are more sturdy-ish. These are definitely like styrofoamy, cushy, but y'all, I love my mushrooms. So, um, I then went exploring. I needed a couple other things there that, for me, but I ended up not getting those. But I picked up some other things. So I was just kind of looking everywhere. Over in the, like, teacher section, they had these. These spotted my, grabbed my attention first. See, mushrooms. But then, there's like acorns and foxes and owls. And the only thing that's really missing for me is a deer um and I can't quite tell like of course that's a raccoon and that's a squirrel I believe but what is that is that another fox because that's the fox are these both foxes what why are there two and then there's like a hedgehog or a porcupine I don't know it's super cute um so yeah um and then I saw these planner stickers as well and you know I just can't help it's 385 stickers um I definitely won't use all of them but as I was flipping through the back look more hearts so I might pull these out to use oh my gosh I didn't even see this last page <laughs> When I was flipping through it, I got excited about the hearts and thought they were the last page. Anyway, so I got some stickers because, yeah. Um, I picked up this. It's a bingo marker. <laughs> I bought this one, which is just labeled marker, but it's the exact same thing. Um, and I like the black one. I've used it in a spread. I may grab that in a minute. And the, um, the color isn't like super color fast like it had some greens and blues in it when I put water on this so I kind of want to know if the blue one does something similar there was also an orange one a green one and a purple one and I was real tempted by the purple one and I might go back and get it but for now <laughs> I got a blue one and then over in the true craft section this was in like the poster paint and that would like crayons and poster stuff um but then in the, in the true I got some double-sided tape because I always need double-sided tape and for some reason you know I don't need more beads and I say that about everything but this little collection with these like browns and metallics really caught my eye so I grabbed that this one is actually might be opened um anyway they're just seed beads and bugle beads, but I thought they could be fun somehow. I haven't decided how. All right, so that's my quick Dollar Tree haul. I will tack on anything else that I grab, y'all. I've got my junk journal here, but before I uh, get started, I wanted to tell you I made another quick trip to the Dollar Tree and picked up some more seasonal stuff. Y'all, look at these little, they're clips. So they've got the little alligator clips on the bottom of them. Um, I will probably take those off, but they have little birds and bunnies and these like iridescent colors. They also have like bottle brush trees, but in Easter colors, I was very tempted by them. They also had some that were bottle brush trees that were upside down, so like that, so that they look like carrots, um, so they were orange. So really neat. I'm not promoting the Dollar Tree, but I just thought, you know, I like to go and get ideas, and I saw these, and they definitely gave me some ideas, but they're falling to pieces. There's some fun confetti down here. Um, also, what else did I pick up? Oh, um, in the Valentine section, right near these, were these strings of, what are they calling it? Garland. So it's a beaded garland. One of the ones in this color had come, like, unraveled. Let's see if I can open it, because there's, ugh. Oh, come on. I suppose I can just use some scissors. There we go. Um, can I get this unraveled? It's really pretty there. So 
So can you see that? That's really pretty and I can see like scattering that in something. Um, so I thought the pink would be really pr pretty with like some of these things, but I went ahead and got the red. There was another color too, but it was like a, oh, like a purpley color I didn't really care for. And then there were these, which are water soluble marking pencils. I know these are intended for fabric, for doing like cross stitch and things like that. But, and I can totally use them, but it made me think of a Stabilo All Pencil and or a watercolor crayon and I was like I wonder how water soluble it is so we are going to test them real quick because they're already sharpened well were maybe I just broke it um gracious all right the tips are really crumbly man they may be kind of bobo let's see what happens do I have enough on here to even try it do I need to break out a pencil sharpener let's see Oh, there. Now I really do need to sharpen it. Okay, hold on a second. I went there for pencil sharpeners and scissors, so I do have <laughs> pencil sharpener here. So let's see. I can get it if I need to break out something else. Hmm. Do you hate that? Okay, let's see if we can get enough of that. It's not, the blue is definitely not very dark, but let's see what happens if we put a little water on it. Oh, y'all, it does just kind of try to fade away. Oh, it bleeds out a little. Hmm. All right, I do have a piece of black paper here. We'll take that little piece there and see if we can get a little bit of the white on it. Let's see what it does. Oh, it just disappears. <laughs> it does what it says it's going to do. So keep in mind that these are, because it just says water-soluble marking pencil for both of them. And they are. They're just cheap marking pencils. So, all right. You get what you pay for. All right. I will see y'all later. I picked up a couple other, like, reduced price things. First off, a couple of these uh, Pentel Sparkle Pop pens and gold. I was looking for some more Uniball Signos, having trouble finding them, um, just kind of to grab. And I thought, you know what, I bet Pop Shelf, which is a, I think it's a Dollar General type store, um, has, they have a really nice stationery section with pens. And so I ran by there because I've picked up some of the Pentel white ones before. They were Milky Pop and I'm not seeing them. Oh, here. I think that's one of them. Um, anyway, so I ran by there to get these. They are not strictly gold. As it says, sparkle there. It's glitter gold. But in a pinch, it works. They're $2 each, so I grabbed a couple of them. Um, I want to take one with me on my demo this week. So the other thing, I went to Joann's because I needed... I say needed. I wanted some more Small Talk stickers. If you've seen a lot of my work in art journals you know I go through these pretty quickly and I just wanted a whole new book and the Tim Holtz stuff was 30% off at Joanne so I grabbed that but I also saw that there were several things on clearance some of the clearance items had already been cleared out by other shoppers but I did get these two this is some of the collage paper but it's tissue it's like tissue paper and this one is the oh, what's it called palette and you can see it's all different colors um i'm trying to think it was reduced just in the three to four dollar range i think and also the snapshots i've been toying with getting some of these and again they were on clearance so i grabbed them so i did get some bead stuff too and it was just generally on sale i'll show it to you if you're interested they had all of their um oh what's the brand Hildy and Joe Strong Beads on sale for $3.99 no matter the strand. So like this strand that I got, um, which is basically three strands of clear and white beads, it's a $10.99 strand of beads I got for $3.99. This really is just charms. I mean, the chain in it is kind of neat, but these are little... Uh, like four leaf clover charms I thought you know with St. Patrick's Day not too far away would be really cute 
and maybe some ne not necklaces, some earrings. So I grabbed those, and I think these were. Let's see. I got. Oh, hold on. I've got. I don't know. They were several dollars off, <laughs> at least three or four. So these are probably eight ninety nine, and I got them for three ninety nine, something like that. So that was my deal for now. Um, I am hoping to go to an estate sale tomorrow, so I should have something more to finish out this this um, this reveal, this haul video. My gosh. Okay, guys. Um, I will see you in just a second. Excuse the messy desk. I did make it to the estate sale this morning, and I didn't get much. I'm hoping next month will be better, but this month, let me show you what I did get. In terms of paper products, um, I got two things. One is this map. It was a dollar. Exploring Dolly, Ling Shang, and Shangri-La. Um, there may have been... I don't know what the other ones would have been, but the fact that this was had all of this beautiful writing on it. Man, I need to zoom out. I wouldn't you have to see too much of my messy desk, but okay. <clears throat> so, and also it is this darker paper. So I just thought it was kind of neat. A lot of the writing in it, you know, it's got it in the Asian writing and everything. So it's, and it's fairly thick paper too. So I just thought it was kind of a neat, um, version of of a map so um so i got that i also oh, i just yeah i was having trouble finding anything so i was kind of like well is there anything else i want so there is this letter from 1952 i paid a dollar for um was it three pages and you can see this is on like it's, i don't know typing paper or onion skin or something super super thin um Okay, it's from Japan, Iwo Jima, Iwo Jima, Japan, okay, in 1952. It's not in great condition, um, so I just thought that was kind of neat. Um, then I also got, every, oh, I've got one $3 item, everything else was a dollar, including those pieces. I'm trying to get my receipts out of the way. Um, let's say a couple hardware things. This um, drawer pool set, I just, you know, I like that it was brass and everything is not put together yet so I can use these things individually, like these little things. Um, the escutcheon back here, the, the drawer, the door handle, door, drawer handle? I don't, the handle of it. And then there's this um, pulley which is kind of neat so i thought you know it could be mounted in a box or something i don't know i haven't decided i just think it, it's kind of neat it's a good solid metal a little bit of rusting on it yeah i thought it was kind of cool i got two metal pans this one that has the little bit of enamel on the inside and the like metallic on the outside i thought would be good for just it's a nice square pan so it's you know kind of good for just like laying things in it um as such you know <laughs> And then this bowl. So, and it was also a dollar. It is designed by Darlot, made in England. Um, it is definitely worn and tattered. I may be too thick to cut apart for jewelry. Um, there's some rusting up in here. I just thought it was kind of neat. It was one of those things that I knew that if I walked away from it, I would be like, it was only a dollar. Why didn't I get it? So <laughs> I got it. I'm not sure if it's just going to go up on my do not cut shelf or if I'm going to actually try to cut it. But it is super thick compared to some of the other 10 that I cut and the last thing I got was this which I almost didn't get I was doing like a, a second pass through everything and this is some kind of card game but Bazik um so in it it's got somebody's name in it 1949 um so it's got the score keeping pad so there's that that comes in there's these chips with amounts on them there's a stack of playing cards with um, oh wow look at that that's 
London set of playing cards. All right, that's really neat. I hadn't really looked at them, but it's a set of playing cards. Um, look at that Joker. He is too cute. Um, anyway, so set of playing cards. Excuse me. I think this is the instruction manual. Rubicon, Bazique, and Bazique. Um, so it's got a little book of instructions, which is great. And then there are these little, like, spinner cards. Oh, if I can get them out. Ooh. So I guess it's got the score of how you play it. This is, I guess, marking either score or some kind. But, y'all, I really, like, even if I just punch this out or whatever or use this in some way, I think it'd be super cute. I love the little metal handles. So, you know, I've got a box and some playing pieces and a scorecard and cards and everything so all of that was was only three dollars i felt like that was kind of a deal so not much this month oh and on the way home i stopped at hobby lobby for a couple things i needed and did check out the clearance sections and over in the like fabric clearance area let's see if i can get this open without tearing this bag up i hate staples how many times do i have to say it I hate them hate them hate them um Oh, there's another one. But over in the fabric clearance section where they've got, like, the remnants and stuff. Well, for one thing, they had a ton of, like, empty frames that I was really um, thinking about. But they were eh, priced a little bit higher than I would like. Which, you know, their clearance tends to be pretty good prices. It, it just, yeah. I didn't want to buy frames when I didn't have any intention for them. But this is some, um, they had a bunch of different trim this time and they don't often have a lot of trim but this is some um ransom trim that i got for a dollar 29 somehow i almost got charged this 5.99 for it if you can see that um and i happened to notice when the girl rang it up and i was like 5.99 i thought it was a dollar something and she's like oh yeah so it's just i think i think the thing says 13 inches of rhinestone trim so and it's Put together with some string so i'm sure i can cut it apart or slide these off yeah slide these off individually to place on something so i thought that was kind of a neat deal that i could um use these rhinestones somehow in something else or replace stones and things anyway a dollar 29 i thought was a pretty good deal for some rhinestones all right guys that is it i'm pretty sure that's my entire haul for right now until next month or whatever unless something big comes up but yeah so i appreciate you coming by taking a look and i will um see y'all later if you have any comments or questions or anything like that please let me know tell me if you found any great deals or something fun in a state sale i'd love to hear about it you know a thrifty folks we gotta stick together yo all right guys thanks so much for watching and i will see y'all later